shoes, chin, jeans, Levi's, sandals. I think I got them from JCPenney about two, three years ago. Y'all see his purse, Shein. Oh, these wooden earrings, Shein. Okay, y'all know hair. It was supposed to be like this, but I had to create the front because when I did my flat twist last night, I don't know what happened, but baby. It didn't. When I took it out. It didn't set right. It didn't fall right. So I did a nice little two-string twist rope situation. Pinned it down. So this is the hairstyle for the day, you guys. So this is my first time wearing this type of what is it called bodysuit. I like it, but I like it. But this material, like, um, at first I thought I didn't have to wear a bra, but maybe I need to wear a bra. So I put a bra on. But the thing is, is that it's so scratchy. So let me go ahead and get in this car, you guys. Happy Sunday. Target picked up my stuff. We about to go into Audi's, um, one of my favorite stores. My top stores is Wagmans, Trader Joe's, and Audi's. But let's go ahead and get started. I gotta get a few things in here. Let's go. Oh, you guys, last night I made my own sorbet. I found a YouTube channel. It was easy. So hopefully one day this week I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. It was quick and easy. It was like a sugar syrup and just frozen fruit. And then you blend it up. And boom it was excellent i wanted some dessert it gave me the coldness that i wanted and also like the texture that i wanted so let's go ahead and get into aldi's and get these groceries and let me put my mask on like i told y'all covid out here real let's go i haven't been to aldi's in a minute so if y'all don't know i try to buy certain things for the entire month like onions and peppers meats and frozen vegetables that can last me for the month not saying the frozen vegetables are gonna last me an entire month because I buy fresh vegetables, but I buy um, a lot of frozen vegetables to last me throughout the month, so I don't have to keep going in the grocery store week after week after week. I only go for like fresh fruit if I want some fresh vegetables every week. But I don't have to be in the grocery store for longer periods of time because it's just an in and out situation. So that's what I usually do. So that's why my grocery haul is I already went to BJ's. I'm gonna go to Audi. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna go to sam's club and i'm gonna to go to wagner's i get a little bit of everything from all places um i didn't have to go to sam's club but i had to because they didn't have my chabana zero sugar yogurt and bj's and i thought they did but they didn't so that's why i gotta go in sam's club and i gotta get so let's go so that's my groceries for the day i gotta find out what i want to eat for lunch i want it to be good but i want it to be healthy as well so i don't know what i really want to be honest i really don't know what i really want um so we gotta figure that out i was thinking i was thinking chipotle but i don't know if i really want chipotle to be honest i think because i know it's healthy and it's quick i might come over here and get me some hibachi on the low because it's really right here beside me so i might do that to be for real for real because hibachi sounds better fresh hot <laughs> How about you? It is for lunch today. So I'm not going to be home in time for lunch. And I want to make sure. I do have an extra apple. I had an apple already. I have an extra apple for another snack. But my stomach is already starting to be like, girl, we hungry. So I need to feed her. I need to feed her before she act up. Okay? 
my stomach will act up you guys she ain't one of those you know stomachs that's gonna sit there and just not go growl baby she gonna growl she gonna growl she gonna growl so <laughs> Trader Joe's I haven't been to other stores because you guys I'm hungry and nothing that I said I was gonna eat made me want to eat it like it was like mm. these days restaurant food it's not like fast food fast food doesn't hit like I'd be like wasting my money even if I try well, I don't have a taste for it I like to go to restaurants so the restaurant that I want to go to is a little bit too far at this moment in time only reason why it's too far is because um, the back I can't drive when it's raining you guys because then the trunk the inside my trunk will get wet So I don't want to travel too far because I said it's supposed to rain later So but guess what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and cook some of that mandarin chicken Y'all just saw me get from Trader Joe's I ended up grabbing two bags because I knew better and we're gonna put it in the oven I already have some vegetables cooked and I'm gonna eat that That is what it's gonna be for lunch but I'm gonna go ahead. I wanted to come home because I had a lot of stuff that was they need to be refrigerated. And I know I had a couple more stores. And I also bought these bad boys. Yes, y'all see these. Do y'all see this color? Do y'all see the colors with the nets? 
Y'all bought these flowers. I usually buy myself flowers once a month, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in some water. Put a little lemon, a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of bleach. It should hold them off. We're going to go ahead and get with this grocery. First part of the grocery haul. Let's go. So we're going to start off with, we're going to start off with Trader Joe's, you guys. Let me put these flowers down and let's get started. Get started. All right, I actually had to get me a bag because I actually left my bags at home. So I should have been this really nice Trader Joe's bag. Um, so let's go. Something every single month, you guys, I buy something I've never had before from a store. This month, I chose Trader Joe's. These are these Brownie Crisp Coffee Ice Cream Sandwiches. It's one forty for one, you guys. So this is what I'm going to be eating on. And I'm definitely going to do a YouTube video showing you guys how this tastes. They look good. I usually like stuff with a little bit of coffee, so hopefully it's not like a heavily on the coffee side. But I thought these look good and that they would taste good, so I got these. Oh, what shop didn't care? Oh, you guys, something that I do, I'm going to show you guys something I do. It's called Fetch Rewards. I scan my receipts, you guys, and you get points. You get boink. I can't get it out. You get points towards things you can use for like gift cards, etc., but if you want to go ahead, you want to get fetched, go ahead. The link is in the bio below, you guys. You can go ahead and start. So, of course, I got my Mandarin orange chicken. You guys, I love this. I'm actually, I don't know if I'm going to put it in the oven or the air fryer. I think I'm going to put it in the oven. I got two bags. I also got a bag of these mango chunks. I got these because I told you guys I made that homemade sherbet, not sherbet, sorbet. And I wanted to do a mango flavor one. I got some of my favorite probiotics, you guys. These are the women's probiotics. Can y'all see it? No, no, no. Okay. Oh, no. It's too bright. It's Okay, there you go. So, these are the ones that I take. Um, I love these. Love these. They're like $9.99 for 30-day supply. We're still not bad. Um, and I also got two of these alkaline waters. I'm going to be drinking one of these up today. I love these waters. I only got two. That's all I got from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's was in and out, quick, hairy, fast. I didn't have to do too much. I love this bag, you guys. I purchased the bag because I go to a lot of places like Aldi and Trader Joe's and Wegmans where you have to bring your own bags anyway. So, we're going to go ahead. So, I ended up getting the Kodiak from Target and my Target pickup. Also, I got some Fairlife Vanilla Protein. I got this from BJ's, you guys. You also can get it from Sam's Club. They have different flavors. It's lactose-free, you guys. You know, lactose intolerant. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're not going to get into the stuff that's not full because there's no need. So, Aldi, I ended up getting some thinly cut pork chops. I'm going to wipe down everything, you guys. I got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And I got some lean ground beef. And I'm getting the 90% this time. And I got some extra virgin olive oil. I also got, got this is one of my favorite peanut butters. Bam, I got this from Target. It's organic, crunchy peanut butter. Usually when you see all, um, like, organic or healthier versions of a peanut butter they always be creamy i like crunchy so i got some of that only place i could find it thus far i got two almond milks 30 calories from aldi i got two bags of shrimps these are jumbo shrimps i got it from aldi i was trying to get the big bag they have a bag that's um four pounds instead of those two pound bags but they didn't have it um, I got three bags of this California medley. I got some black peppercorns. With, I already have the grinder on it, Aldi. I think I got three or four mangoes, you guys. They're hard, and I want it to be hard because I want it to sit. Um, because I bought some other fruit to get right. I did get some grapes. Aldi, they had a set on grapes. The set was better for the red, but I wanted the green because they looked better and they was plump and firmer. Um, also got some kiwi. Aldi. Everything you're seeing now is from Aldi. Got a bag of avocados. 
Got a bag of these little oranges. I actually um, only have like two left in my bag. I dog them. I eat like five or seven at a time for a snack. Um, I love these low calorie tortilla wraps. They're over there by the bread section. It only has, can y'all guys see it? 60 calories. Um, only 160 grams of sodium. Great macros, full gram of protein. I get these. Actually, these might be a little bit less than the other low-carb tortilla I mean, calorie count in the store. I think they're like 80. So that's another reason why I like getting these. I got some cilantro. I got some zucchini. You guys, the zucchini was looking real rough. Some of it, I don't know what it was. Fungus, mildew, things growing on the zucchini already. And a lot of them was like beat up, cut up. I don't know what they have. It's another mango. I don't know what they have going on with baby. Mm -mm. I got some extra shop cheddar cheese. You guys. I don't know what was going on, but they were a mess. I said, well, what is it, Aldi? Like, you're having a hard You should have never even put that mess. I think I'm done, you guys. I think I am done. Yep, everything. I've already went through everything I've gotten from Aldi. I only got to get a few things from Sam's Club. Um, in Wegmans, I do gotta go to Walmart and get this one thing because they don't sell it in the other stores. They do sell it in this Kroger by me, but Walmart is right across from the Sam's Club near me, so I'm just gonna go in there and grab that. I don't have to get any food items from Walmart, um, but I'm gonna go into Sammy Club and get some things. Not that many. I gotta go to Wegmans. So Wegmans has some of my favorite tortilla chips. I even got my mama on them, so she want me to bring some home when I come home. So I'm probably going to grab a couple of bags for her. What else am I going to get for Wagmas? I thought something was crawling me. Y'all, the bus is out, okay? I'm out there trying to get the groceries. Bad, bad, flying bus, land on me. I said, oh, no. That's why I just look like, oh, no. I'm over the bugs. Um, But, so, yeah. So I don't have to buy any eggs or egg whites because I already have that in the refrigerator. Everything else I don't need because I already have it in the refrigerator. And like I said, a lot of these things are going to last for the month. So let me go ahead, turn this oven on to get this food cooking, wipe down these groceries, eat lunch, and get back on the road. Um, so let's go. That's about it, you guys. Of course, I bought some other things that are not food related, but that's neither here nor there. So, you guys, I was this close from buying a cutting board out of Audi. So I'm going to do like a kitchen overhaul and a bedroom overhaul really soon. I need some new pots and pans, silverware. Some because you have it over a while, it gets beat up, gets old. You need to replace it. Um, so I'm gonna do that pretty soon. I just gotta figure out what I want to do. So I'm gonna do that pretty soon. Kitchen overhaul, get some new kitchen things, bedroom overhaul. The bedroom is gonna cost a pretty penny, so I might not do that till maybe six months down the road. But I need to figure out what I want to do and how I want things to look, you know, to my liking. So, but I want y'all to join me on that as well. So I gotta figure out what I want. I want to see, I want it. Mm -mm -mm. I, I got some things I want it to look a certain way. So I just got to find it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go to multiple places for my bedroom. Kitchen is usually pretty simple. Um, but let me go ahead and put these up because I'm, I know I'm hungry because my eyes getting low. That means I'm getting hungry, hungry. So let me go ahead and feed myself. I might cook some rice with it. I actually not might. I'm going to cook some rice and put my mandarin and chicken on top. And I already have some vegetables cooked. I don't know if I'm going to do the asparagus, the spinach, or I'm going to do, I got some mixed vegetables in there that I need to eat too. So I don't know. It's going to be one of the three or maybe two different vegetables. It doesn't matter to me, but I'm just hungry. Grocery store of the day, you guys. I am exhausted, but we got things to do. One of my favorite stores. Let's go. They have AC on in here. Thank God. Sam Club was warm. Walmart was extremely warm. But guess what? We out. a few things in here 
they strawberries are always so sweet. I might grab me a container. Let me see how much they cost. They're never cheap, but they're actually a little cheaper than I've had them before. So I'm gonna get some strawberries, you guys. They're nice and plump, you guys. I'm so excited. Y'all, their strawberries are always a little bit expensive, but I have never had a bad strawberry from here. Even in the winter time, it's always, always sweet strawberries. So, y'all hear the rooster. So you guys, I've been having no meat dinners. So, I'm gonna get me some mushrooms in here. I never look for the mushrooms in here, so I need to find them. But I have to get a few mushrooms, you guys, for the week. And they have a nice little mushroom session, I see. Let's see what they talking about. And see what I'm gonna get. Let's go. This is their mushroom section, you guys. So. extra exotic I was looking for some oyster mushrooms but I don't see them you guys so we're just gonna get some mushrooms and go I see some shiitake mushrooms up here mm. we're gonna go ahead and get some caps
blueberry. I haven't had a blueberry bagel in a long time. Like I said, I will only be eating half the bagel with some cream cheese and some fruit for a breakfast. Calories is only 250. I be eating half, so it's actually gonna be less than that. So I'm gonna get the blueberry. different for breakfast I've been eating cereal like honey nut Cheerios I added so I didn't buy any cereal because it took me a while to eat my last box so when I start seeing that it's taking me longer to eat something I do not buy it again for that my next shopping trip because that mean I'm getting tired of it so we just got to get a few more things out of here you guys and we're gonna be out uh, they have beautiful flowers in here as well I just didn't get mine today, um, but they have beautiful, beautiful flowers in here. I got mine from Trader Joe's. I used to get it from here or Trader, but I got mine from Trader. Hopefully they have my dairy-free cream cheese, you guys. I wanna show y'all like the dairy-free section, all the cheeses. Also, club, I'm looking for some good dairy-free cheese that actually melts. Wegmans have their own brand of dairy-free cheese. And it's actually really, really good. So let's go. All right, you guys. So this is the dairy free cheese I was telling you that I like. It actually melts. Now I'm looking for my cream cheese that I want. Mm -hmm. I want a flavor cream cheese. These are all the dairy free things they have. You see the mayonnaise up top. They got different pesos. Y'all, this brand right here have, have the best queso. Best queso. Best queso. Dairy free version. So, I don't know what flavor, but I'm gonna really get flavor cream cheese. They're gonna just gonna keep it plain because I have blueberry. I'm gonna get this. I've never had it. Let's look at the sodium. It's 120. Can y'all see it? The sodium is 120. Let's see if we can beat 120. Let's see what Daya has. So sodium on a Daya is 115. So we beat that. This was 120. We beat it by a little bit. Hmm. Let me try another brand. So I'm at 200, not getting this. So I'm gonna keep the one I have in my cart. Y'all, they have so many different cheeses, different dressings, and they have just eggs. All right, you guys, I'm gonna show y'all the yogurt, and I'm gonna tell you why I get it from Sam's Club, because it's a steal. It is a steal in price by buying in bulk. If you send me back anything in bulk, there's no, I'm getting about because it saved me some coins for sure. All right, I'm looking for you guys. All right. All right, so you guys, the yogurt I bought in bulk was $10 for 12 and it's $129 for one. So that's why I'm getting in bulk, you guys. That's why I'm getting in bulk. Oh, let me show you guys the options of dairy-free yogurts in here. They have a big selection of dairy-free yogurts that I just showed you guys, the Chavana. Uh, let me show you the rest of them. All of these are dairy-free. 
you can't beat that, you guys. So, I just gotta get some tortilla chips for my mom. And then I have to get some spray. Some type of disinfectant spray. Not disinfectant, it's like a, it's like a Febreze, but it's their brand. It has a very good smell. That's all I gotta get. And then we are out. We are out of here. You guys, we are out of here. how many grocery stores I went to today. That's neither here nor there. A lot of things I buy for the month. So let me show y'all. I just show y'all a little brief in the store action. Got the Chabana Zero Sugar 12. It doesn't expire till July. This usually lasts me a month and a half because I don't eat it every day. It's cheaper to buy than both. Alright. One of my things y'all hear me talk about is all the time, baby. Nature's Bakery bars. Got them from Sam's Club. One box of 12. It's six dollars. This box is sixteen. No, one box of six is six dollars. So if you're getting twelve, you paying twelve dollars. I paid ten for sixteen bars. So it says sixteen twin packs, then it says thirty-two twin packs. So it's actually thirty-two. Take that back. So we getting thirty-two for the price of two a little bit of under two packs that i would get from target sam's club baby also i got some fresh strawberries from wagmish y'all saw that little spill i got some dairy-free cream cheese wagmish i got these blueberry bagels and i got i don't know if y'all could have heard me but i'm gonna see when i do the video i got two different types of mushrooms i'm gonna be using as meal replacements for protein um once a day also beans same meal replacement. Protein replacement. I also bought some of my favorite tortilla chips. Hold on, let me get to them. Yeah. I bought me one. Bought my mama four. Uh, Cause she don't live near the Wegmans and she loves these just like I love them. I put her on to a baby. Yeah, I get these. Mm -hmm. Don't say I didn't warn you. Um, also, I bought um, what's it called? Under Armour Light. Uh, a case of that from Sam's Club because usually when you buy it's like 152 for one um, It's getting warmer. I need other things to help me hydrate instead of water. So it only has 20 grams or maybe 40 it's 20 to 40 um, Milligrams of sodium instead of like a hundred plus and the other um, Type of like the Gatorades and things of that nature and I like that flavor better and it helps me hydrate my body better so that's the end of the grocery haul. I'm officially done to the done to the done done done. I'm about to shower and fix some dinner. Dinner tonight. It ain't gonna be no mushrooms. It's gonna be a burger with a fruit bowl. I'm gonna have some strawberries. I got some cantaloupe in there. What else fruit I got in there? I need. I got some grapes. I'm gonna see if those kiwis I bought today ready. 
it's gonna be a nice little fruit bowl with my burger that's gonna be dinner i'm gonna go ahead and relax i hope y'all enjoy if you have any questions on anything that i purchased you guys go ahead comment below reminder a lot of the things that i purchased today is going to last me for the entire month sometimes longer so that's why i buy things in bulk because sometimes it's cheaper the things i buy in bulk and then when i be buying it i bought chicken beef pork chops i actually have a little bit of each already in my freezer and shrimp so i know that's not going to last me for another month so i'll just go ahead and buy it I do that because sometimes usually when I buy my meats and stuff, it's usually on the cheaper side. And then when I go look again, it's a dollar some change up from when I bought it. So that's what I usually do. Almond milk. I usually get egg whites, didn't eat egg whites. So I didn't have to get egg whites. Also a reminder, get fruit in season. It's gonna be cheaper than getting fruit out of season. So y'all know all the fruits are coming in. I haven't seen the peaches or plums yet, so I'm waiting for that to come in. Because the blueberries was a little expensive. I didn't buy any. In my opinion, and raspberries were, I didn't buy any, in my opinion. So, I got strawberries because I prefer these strawberries, even though they was like $7. But, they are always super sweet, and they last. They don't, you know, go bad in the refrigerator after a couple of days, so that's why I get them. Also, reminder, always go to your grocery store that you feel like it's the cheapest first, and get your groceries from there first. Then you work your way to other groceries. So that's why you saw me get majority of like my fruits and vegetables as well as my meats from Aldi because it's cheaper than going to like Walmart, Target, Kroger, Wegmans, Publix, Trader Joe's. Um, so that's why you see that. And you saw me grabbing different things from different grocery stores that I like. And that's usually a little bit cheaper than others. So that's why I have my own things that I like at certain grocery stores. And you will have the same. You don't have to settle for everything at a grocery store. Especially if you do not like it. If you don't like it, don't buy it. You always can find alternatives. Um, I do have to buy some tomato sauce. But I'm going to get that from Kroger one day this week. And I'm going to come up with a video showing you guys some different options you can choose from. To help you guys out on y'all journey. I'm tired. You can tell I'm tired. I'm done. The heat. Between the heat. The walking. I've been up since 8 o'clock. And I've been going all day. Your sister girl is tired. So I'm going to shower. I'm not working out today baby. Walking was my workout. I've been walking all day. Um, plus I already worked out four times this week. Usually I do five. But today was my fifth day. I don't care what nobody say. Today was a workout. Okay. So um neither here nor there but i'm gonna admit i'm trying to bake if i'm gonna have some bacon on my burger and do like a break a bacon burger barbecue burger i like putting barbecue sauce on my burger you guys a little bit of um dairy-free mayo we gonna see i think i am because i haven't had no bacon in a minute i'm gonna do some sauteed onions y'all this burger about to be decked out i just want to let y'all know it's gonna be good it's gonna be healthy my version of healthy um so let me get started with that go ahead like and subscribe go ahead and hit that notification button all you guys this week for real for real shin hauls is coming if you know you know it was that time it was on flow so i was bloated so i didn't really feel that comfortable i'm um, doing because i was bloated i wanted to show y'all so i will be doing those hauls this week i will be doing body suits as well as accessories from Shein this week. It's going to be two separate videos. Be on the lookout. And I also have a bathing suit. Let you know. You won't be seeing me naked. I will be having some shorts on my bathing suit. Because I'm not about that. Show your whole body like that. On social media or on the internet. So y'all just going to see it. How I show y'all. Okay. So I want y'all to say good luck on your journey. Don't overthink it. Guess what? You can eat rice. You can eat potatoes. I know y'all like, girl, you got bagels. Uh, to be honest, a lot of things that I learned, I had to unlearn and relearn. That's all I'm going to say on that. So, that's why you say, I'm gonna, when I eat those bagels, I'm probably going to have the bagels. Maybe a half a bagel. I'm probably going to do the whole bagel, to be honest, um, with some cream cheese and some fruit. Or I might do one of the Fair Life drinks or a smoothie or green smoothie with a bagel. 
So I'm gonna always have some type of fruit and with some greenery if I can. Like I do the, the green smoothies, I will be having some type of spinach or I might go ahead and put some avocado in it, make it creamier, get some greens, some other nutrients, healthy fats in my smoothie with my bagels. You need the carbs. Remember that, you need the carbs. So um, remember that, you need the carbs. So that, I'm gonna eat those carbs with that cream cheese with some fruit that's how we gonna handle that um oh also i'm gonna put y'all onto something if y'all have a wegmans i know y'all saw a little bit i don't know if y'all could see the clip they have their own brand of different things so this is the fabric odor remover bomb buy it i just purchased the bathroom cleaner never had it they have the citrus flavor and like a no no i said flavor a citrus smell and they have one that has no smell so if you want that you can choose it I've never used it but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it because maybe it only had like three left so apparently it must be really good but it's something I like spraying like on my curtains my carpet it's just like for breeds you squirt it's just cheaper um, plant-based as well as it's just leaves a different type of smell um, in the house and I love it you make your house smell real fresh and it lasts for days and I spray it on the carpet like after I vacuum. I spray it on the carpet. It makes your house smell really fresh for days. If you're interested, Wagmans. Also, if you're going to shop at Wagmans, Wagmans have a lot of things that are brands. Wagmans brand that are cheaper. Same cost as like Walmart brands, Kroger brands. So don't think you can't go into these grocery stores and buy your food. I just didn't buy any of those things because I didn't need it. But always remember... Don't ever think a grocery store is too expensive. They always, all grocery stores have different people, different social economic statuses, and everybody's looking for a bargain. Whether you 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 make a hundred k or plus, or half a million, or or you make twenty five thousand or less than that, everyone's looking for a bargain. So don't think you can't find things. You may can't do all of your grocery shopping in there, like I didn't, but you can grocery shop in these stores as well as Trader Joe's, Publix. What's the other ones? Whole Foods. Any of those places, they're going to have their own brand as well as they're going to have name brand things that may be cheaper than you think Walmart or Kroger may have it, which you may see more of in your area or in your neighborhoods. So remember, you can shop at any grocery store you want. And then you find different things like, oh, 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 oh got to tell y'all about that ice cream. Let me show y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all, I had it. I had it. I couldn't. After I ate lunch, I made, I ate one. So, they're good. But, if you don't like coffee, do not purchase. Now, I like coffee, but don't like coffee. This is the right enough amount of coffee for me. It's 140 calories for one. I'm going to show y'all the size. They're not too small, not too big. I'm going to put it towards my hand. So, it fit in the palm of my hand. So they're not too small, not too big. You get a nice amount of filling of ice cream, bomb. You get four in the box. I think this was like $2.99, I can't remember. This is something new that I wanted to try out and try it. It's really good. Um, so try these out if you have it. They also have some oat milk ice cream sandwiches they didn't have in my Trader Joe's. So if you want that, go ahead. Go ahead, like, and subscribe. This vlog is over. Y'all have a good day.
All right, you guys, so y'all saw my breakfast is going to be right here. I have 113 grams of cantaloupe. I decided to actually weigh it only so I can give y'all more of what, like an idea of how much of what I'm eating. Um, also, I have two kiwis I couldn't have, and I have the bagel with some of that um, dairy-free cream cheese. Y'all saw me struggling. I thought it was going to be as creamy as cream cheese. It is once you start moving it around. The next time, I would stir it around. Um, like get it going before I put it on my bagel as well as um, it has a good flavor and I use so I'm using this it's two tablespoons per serving it's only 60 um, calories per serving so that's why you saw me using the actual tablespoon so I can have an accurate measure of how much I'm using you guys so that is breakfast I don't know what eating for snack etc etc so let's figure that out It's time for a snack, so I'm just gonna have a fair life shake, you guys. I'm gonna get out the refrigerator. I'm gonna go to have this vanilla fair life shake. Um, it's only 150 calories and it has 30 grams of protein. I'm gonna have this for a snack. It's 11:40 ish, so it's almost like two and a half, two hours and 45 minutes over since the last time I ate. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this, you guys. So I know what I said for lunch. That's not what we have for lunch. What we're going to have is, I cook some of that Trader Joe's Mandarin Orange Chicken. I'm going to have that since it's already cooked. And we're going to do some air fried uh, french fries in the air fryer. Um, I'm going to make them homemade. I'm going to show you guys how to make them really quick, easy. And we're going to cook some vegetable medley that includes broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower. That's going to be for lunch. Quick, easy, and I'm going to have lunch on the patio today since it's not raining because that's what I want to do. But I'm about to have this fella shape. So, this is my first time ever having this shake when it's inspired a whole year so i see people they say it's good you know lactose free we gonna find out let's see this is my first time y'all so i got a pack of 12 from bj's all right so all right my first time tasting it so it tastes like a watered-down milkshake. Like, actually, to be more specific, it tastes like the ice cream that you get from McDonald's in the Sunday cup, watered down. I know, I'm real specific. But that's what it tastes like. It's actually decent. It's not bad at all, you guys. It's my first time trying it. So, of course, I'm like, my taste buds are like, doo -doo 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 -doo, going all over the place. I decided to get it because I was like, ooh, I wanted to increase my protein as well as I didn't want something that was really high in calories and sodium. So this only has 190 grams of sodium. So this actually is really good. Two sugars, which is good as well. Carbs, only three. So let me see if I can get it close to you guys so you can see it. These are the macros. And I will actually take a picture of it and post it right here so you can see more of a better picture of it the micros of the fair life i heard they had a strawberry and a chocolate i didn't see that but next time i probably would get a strawberry or a chocolate but the vanilla is fine and dandy for me i'm gonna drink this um and that's gonna be my snack and i'm gonna get some water let's go team get in that protein team stay within your calories i usually don't log but I kind of have a range. I try to stay between four to five ounces of protein, the serving size of rice, potatoes. I just try to get like a decent size potato if I'm going to do like french fries with that um, air fried french fries and vegetables. I eat slice of vegetables. So I don't usually do a whole bunch of calorie counting. I'm only doing them with you guys and when I post on social media because a lot of people do calorie counting or they're interested to see. Ooh, how many calories a meal can be so I'm showing you guys also I want to show you guys more like things that you think you can't have you can have I'm gonna go ahead and post a picture right here boom this is a meal I created um a couple of days ago I posted on my socials it's actually under 500 calories it's a air fried barbecue pork chop with some white rice with some asparagus 
um, the asparagus was in the oven and actually I didn't I actually put it in the air fryer um, I have a dual air fryer I just bought it it's amazing because my air fryer and it wasn't dual but this one baby right here it bakes broil and air fry and you can have different temperatures and do different things in each one this is the best money I spent <laughs> in a long time. I didn't buy my first air fryer. It was given to me. I asked to my mom because she felt like she couldn't cook in it. And then when she saw me cooking in it, she was like, what? But that one caught out, so I had to get me a new one. And baby, it was a good purchase. Got it from Best Buy. It was like $80. And to be honest, the dual baskets, it was on sale. It was like 60 50% off. It was been like $150. i am not paying $150 for no air fryer. But I pay $80. And worth the money it had great reviews all the way through all the way through you guys so that's why i got it best money i ever spent free shit because it was over like 50 dollars so boom but we're gonna have this fair life get back to work and lunch is going to be mandarin orange chicken air fried potatoes and a vegetable medley that meal is under 500 calories and I'm going to show y'all and I'm going to put the increments and everything here. I'm also going to put it on my social media as another 500 calorie meal. So if y'all interested, hit me up. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. It's going to be on all three. It's going to be some reels. It's going to be on TikTok. So, boom. But I'm not going to, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go a little bit in detail how I cut my potatoes. Let me show you the orange chicken that I actually use in. I already cooked. I actually bought two bags when I went to Trader Joe's because I love this stuff. But yeah. Mandarin orange chicken, I get it from Trader Joe's. I pop it in the oven. Once it cooks, then you add sauce. That's it. Um, here goes the macros. The sodium is okay. It's not bad. It's 330. So here goes the macros for this. So that's what we eat in for lunch. Um, so, yeah. That's what we're going to eat for lunch, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and drink this up. And go on about my business. And finish my job for the day but y'all remember sometimes you don't have to overthink things like I know a lot of people the thing is even when I was on my program you was told not to eat certain things in reality you can you just have to cook them in a different way or just have it more in moderation but carbs is not bad potatoes are not bad rice is not bad that's all I'm gonna say on that one we gonna reconvene and we're going to go ahead with this day. But y'all have a good day. Alright, so apparently this is not... Uh, we're going to go ahead with some regular, just raw carrots, you guys. One serving is 85 grams. I'm going to go ahead and weigh this potato that we're going to use for fries. This is 208. So y'all can see it. You about to cut up these potatoes. You want to make sure that your slices are kind of the same length and width so they can all cook the same in the air fryer. If you want to preheat, you don't have to. You can preheat your air fryer to 400. We're going to cook these on 400. I'm going to try to make them the same size as possible as possible all right you guys these are our cut up what we're going to do we're going to go ahead we're going to drain them we're going to pat them dry we're going to put a little olive oil. All right, you guys, I'm back. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil to just a little bit. And then we're going to add in a little bit of paprika. The paprika is going to help it brown in the air fryer. 
you can just eyeball it and we're gonna mix this up you can take the skin off if you want I chose not to I'm add a little bit more paprika Alright, boom. We're gonna put it in the air fryer. Try to have it on, on a thin layer as possible. Depends on your how your air fryer works. Some air fryers work better. Um, you can have like layered up, or you just need to have a thin layer in order for it to cook properly. Here they are. We're gonna go ahead and air fry. So once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and put that plate of that mandarin chicken and carrots in the microwave and let that cook. Um, I like my carrots raw, cooked. So I'm just putting it all in once so I don't have to, um, it doesn't matter, they're going to be a little warm. I like raw carrots, so I don't need any seasoning up there. If it was cooked, like really cooked, like on the stove or in the oven, I would of course season it. But since it's just raw carrots, I'm just going to put it in the microwave. It's going to have a little heat on it. I, I don't mind. Other people may mind, but I don't mind, so that's why I'm not cooking that. And then we're going to go ahead and plug in for our lunch today. So let me go ahead and do that. Alright guys, we're about to take the fries out of the air fryer. And you need to have some garlic powder, black pepper, and some salt. I'm going to use kosher salt. So let's go. I want y'all to see what they look like. See how brown and crispy they are? I'm going to put them in a bowl or whatever you want to put it in. Add a little bit of salt. I have coarse kosher salt. So, black pepper. Garlic powder. And you're going to shake it up. That's it, you guys. So this is going to be lunch today. Mandarin orange chicken from Trader Joe's. Some baby fresh carrots and some air fried um, homemade french fries, you guys. This is going to be All right, lunch. you guys. It's snack time. So we're going to have a high, high protein snack, you guys. So we're going to start off with this edamame. I got this um, edamame from Walmart. They have a box of six. I'm going to show you guys because I actually... Just purchased another one. I think it's like five or six dollars, so basically a dollar a bag. This is edamame it doesn't have any salt or anything in it, you guys. The only ingredient is soybeans, which is that's what the edamame is. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook this, and we're gonna have a fair life vanilla shake. My first time having it was yesterday, so I'm gonna tell you guys what it tastes like for me. <laughs> for me, what it tastes like. But I'm gonna have this, and when it comes out of the microwave, you can put the bag. In the microwave, you guys, this is something quick you can also take for work. Okay, okay, go to the microwave like two and a half, three minutes. Boom, you have a nice high protein snack, you guys. When this come out, I do sprinkle a little bit of kosher salt, just a little bit. If you go into the normal grocery stores, they do have edamame, it's already salted, and I think they have different flavors. But I try not to get those because the sodium content up there is really high, so I like to put my own salt which is the sodium on it but this is only 90 calories for this bag and we're going to have a fair life protein shake that is actually 30 grams of protein i'm gonna show you guys boom shakalaka boom i will also put the macros posted right here for you guys macros meaning the back of it when i had it yesterday for the first time they do have a strawberry and a chocolate flavor um, I did not see the MBJs, but apparently they have it in Sam's Club. So when I go to Sam's Club, after I'm done with this, I will get a different flavor. Um, this tastes like a watered down, just a little bit, Sunday. You know how you used to get the, the ice cream from McDonald's. That's what it tastes like. Just a liquefied, that's what it tastes like. That flavor. When I was drinking it yesterday, I was trying to figure out what it tastes like. That's what it tastes like to me has 30 grams of protein like i said i'll put the stats up here you guys only two grams of sugar sodium 190 that's not that the entire thing is 150 calories 
let's go i'm eating out tonight so i'm going to make sure that what i'm eating throughout the day is going to be a little bit lower in calorie than i normally because i know i'm going to be eating out and when you eat out the food is usually higher in calories because they're adding butters and and other oils to the food so that's why i'm eating a little bit lower in calorie intake so i said i'm going to do this for a high protein snack it is 10 something almost 11 o'clock so we're going to do that let's go ahead and make that it's going to be quick and easy put this back in the freezer yesterday i just had this by itself and it helped me but it didn't help me as long as i thought it would but it helped me for a pretty long time but that's why i'm adding something else to it so all together you guys this is 39 grams of protein 39 grams of protein, you guys, under 300 calories. Let's go ahead and put this in the mic. Good to be alive. All right, you guys, so since I'm eating my snack, it's 11. I'm going to say it's about 11. Two and a half, three and a half later is 1.30. It's smack dead in the middle of my therapy appointment which i was trying to avoid but it is what it is so i'm just going to bring me some additional snacks i'm not going to eat out i'm not saying i'm not let me rephrase that i'm gonna try not to eat out for lunch um before i get back home that's the name of the game but we're gonna see good to me I'm trying to think if I'm gonna have meat for lunch today or I'm gonna do a non probably gonna do non meat. So I'm gonna have some of these Mexican pinto beans that I made and I'm gonna have corn and cob and some mixed vegetables and probably cook me a couple of my lumpia chicken lumpia rolls. And then I'm gonna do that for um, lunch because dinner tonight I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be having meat. So I know you guys are like, oh, you don't eat meat. I used to eat meat, not used to. So since I only able to do cardio treadmill workouts i can do some type of weights but weightlifting but those is usually at the gym i don't have a gym membership i go to the gym where i reside um i canceled that out because the gym was being really, really nasty and lax deluxe when it comes to sanitation so that's why i canceled my gym membership but um i'm gonna do that so since i can't lift weights and do a whole bunch of extracurricular i'm trying to cut out meat in one of my meals so instead of having it for lunch and dinner i'm just gonna have it for one or the other sometimes i do have it for um twice a day but it just depends um but i'll try not to so that's why i bought you're gonna see in the vlog before this one when i went grocery shopping um i bought mushrooms the mushrooms is for um uh, replacing meat for my meals so that's why i did that you guys the edamame is almost ready I can't wait because they taste so good. Hold on. All right, you guys, so this is going to be snack, 39 grams of protein, edamame, and this spread like protein, you guys. You can also get this from Kroger, but it's a smaller pack. They do have a 24 pack as well as a 12 pack. I have a 12 pack, but this is going to be, I'm going to go ahead and put the, um, my fitness pal information right here on the screen so you guys can see the current amount of calories as well as all together for this one specific meal you guys so this is going to be snack for today let's go hi you guys so i'm back from physical therapy i ate a bag of bomb chicka pop popcorn i'm gonna show y'all what they look like ate this it's 140 calories and i ate six of those really really small oranges and i'm hungry i know i was talking about oh i'm not, not eating no meat baby i'm hungry so what I'm about to do, um, having some onions right now, I'm going to make me a burger. I have five ounces of, five ounces of ground beef. I season with this 
no salt, Creole seasoning, garlic powder, under powder, garlic powder, and onion powder. And I have these two pies that I smashed down really thin. And then once the onions get to a certain level, we're going to put those patties up there. And I'm going to have some grapes with it. I told you I'm trying to keep my calories a little bit on the lower side because I don't want to eat out later. So that's why I'm not going to have like no potatoes or rice because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have that for dinner. So I'm going to have a side of grapes. Green grapes I got from Audi. So I did not put any salt in my beef. So I like mayonnaise and barbecue sauce on my burgers. So since it has a lot of salt and barbecue sauce, sodium, and as well as in mayonnaise, and I have dairy-free mayonnaise, I didn't put any salt. In reality, I've been doing this for a month, and you don't really need it if you're seasoning your meat. Like this no-salt Creole, garlic powder, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, some type of some paprika, a little ground ginger. I don't need it. So I started doing that to help reduce the amount of salt I've been bringing in. So I've been doing that a lot and I like it like that because I don't miss it because the burgers are still flavorful and it's salt in the barbecue sauce and the mayonnaise. So we're going to go ahead and get these onions sauteed. We'll go ahead and show you what we got looking, what we got cooking. Well, Alright, it was acting a little weird. So this is the flat style grill. The onions are already getting kind of brown so I'm going to go ahead and add these patties on. They're going to cook really, really fast. I'm going to go ahead and spray it with a little bit of oil, just a little bit. This canola spray. The patties are going to shrink tremendously. And this is 5 ounces of 95 lean, 5% fat, brown beef. I'm just going to go ahead and let this cook. Let's go. Hi you guys, so I got my burger set up, I got my buns and my grapes, this is the barbecue sauce I'm adding. Alright you guys, this is the barbecue sauce that I'm using, I got it from Audi. My burger is done, I put a little barbecue sauce at the bottom, we're going to put it right there. We're going to go ahead, this is the mayonnaise that I like, it's dairy free. I'm going to put a little bit on the bun. Need a little bit more. We're about to add these onions. Alright you guys, burger, lunch is served, grapes and a nice burger you guys. I haven't milk prep this week so last couple days I've been eating things that I already cooked or I've already shown you guys this week. So that's why it's Thursday, I think the last time y'all seen me was Tuesday. So we're going to make this shrimp quesadilla, homemade guac. Then we're going to add the chips and the grapes. Simple, basic, let's go. I already got my cast iron skillet going. We're going to go ahead and cut up some peppers and some onions. Get it on so we get this shrimp and guac. Let's go, let's go.
show y'all a few things these are the low carb upside down wraps i get from aldi it's only 60 calories per wrap <coughs> excuse me you guys it's only 60 calories a wrap i have 4.6 ounces of shrimp um in this thing you guys so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go and weigh everything i'm just doing that for you guys so y'all can know um the calorie counts if you are a calorie counter i'm not um so let's get started we're gonna go ahead we're gonna add some grapes as well so we're about to weigh all this i'm starving like all the way marvin like starving so it's time to eat so let's get started all right <laughs> 